me how many people are here now. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Michelle. Yep. So we're going to be working on this junk journal today. Getting some work done. I want to get this dreams, etc. Junk journal almost done. <clears throat> um, hmm, so we have another hanky in here. We need to decorate this. Oh, hold on, hold on. It's beautiful purple. So I'm just going to ink up this a wee bit. <clears throat> Because there's eight here right now, and it just now, I just don't know, understand why YouTube does not show me this anymore. I think you have to wait for it to start playing, and then nope. look underneath your thing. No, no, uh, it always showed me in the Google Hangout itself. Oh, yes. Yeah. Now, what I was. Much. Yeah. What I was thinking I'm gonna do <clears throat> when I start making my books. I'm going to do some brown staining on some of this stuff, too, just to make it look dirty, old with the purple. I think that's going to look super cool. So this side here. Ah, okay, I get it. These are the parts that we're going to see because this is going to be glued. <clears throat> to the back of another one. So this is the parts we're going to see. So I make I got to make sure I turn all of these um, this way in my junk journal. So I just really think the brown is going to look spiffy with the purple. <clears throat> well, purple looks good with everything anyway. Yes, it does. And I think I'm going to do some decorating on this a little bit. Not decorating, but some, some, some stamping. So before we get into this, <clears throat> i got a <clears throat> irritated throat. What else is there? I need my folder with all my stampy stuff in it. And I'm going to take a sheet of paper. And kind of put it underneath so that coloring all over top of this. All right, which one do I want to use? Ooh, Eiffel Tower. Let's do this one for now. And I think I'm going to stamp this one in purple. So let's go like that. And maybe do a little bit of black here, a little there, a little dark here, a little, you know. What like color is that one? What? What color is that second one? <clears throat> black. Oh, okay. And then I'm just going to roll it on. Oh. oh that's it. pretty. Hi, Crystal. <clears throat> so we're going to do the same thing on the back. And we'll just touch it with a little bit of black here and there. Oh, I knew you were going to fall in the garbanzo. And let me see if I, oh, darn it. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I like the inside look, though, too, where you can barely see it through the paper. Well, that's going to be a pocket when it's sewing or sewing. When it's um <clears throat> glued, I'll show you what I mean. It'll be glued together when I get the pockets in or the pages, the signatures in. Ooh. Okay. 
So, where's my stamps? Now, whoops, it's not very straight, but I don't care. All right, now, I think this needs more sticky on it. Yep, I gotta run a piece of score tape on that. <clears throat> Because it holds my rubber stamps on it, and I hate when it doesn't, they fall off. I really hate it. So I always put them on here, score tape on here, and then my things stick really well. Oh, what a smart idea. Yeah, and then I'll just use, to clean it up, I'll just use Goo Gone. <clears throat> And then I'll stick it on my arm a couple of times to get some of my body oils on it so it's not super sticky, that my rubber stamp don't come off. But I'm going to just Work. stamp a few things. Ooh, I like this one. That one. And <clears throat> let's do the posty mark. Okay, so let's do some purple. That's black soot. <coughs> I need my purple. Reinker. What is this called? Wild wilted violet. Oh, I don't have a wilted violet refill. That's right. I just have two ink pads. Okay. So do a little touch there, a little touch there. And, there. and then we'll just ink you up there like that. And a little touch there, there, and there. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. <clears throat> and there. I love that. I want two more. There. One at the bottom. There. That is wicked cool. So wait. Not done. Not done yet. <clears throat> um there. There. <clears throat> I love that. Hey, Toby. I love mixing colors when I'm stamping. I really do. I love the effect you get. That is so pretty, but kind of boring. So <clears throat> I'm going to do something else. I'm going to get another color because, you know, we want colors. We don't want just boring old. No, I don't want that. That's ugly. I want this one. Try these two. Pink and vintage photo. Let's try that. Vintage photos is one of my favorites. Right. Okay. Postmark there. 
This one there, that one there, and I want this one here. Let me see what these all say. Oh, look at this little cute stamp. We need that. And we need this. All right. <clears throat> so let's start off with pink. Oh, hell yeah. Pink, a little bit of brown, a little brown, a little brown. And let's just stamp. That's giving it some color, but I think it needs a wee bit of turquoise. Oh. Yep, it sure does. It needs some turquoise. So let's put a little brown, a little brown, and some turquoise. Hi, Clint. Hi, Clint. And let's see what that looks like. I love it. Ooh, I love that. Okay, so we'll kind of try and do one that you can clearly see it. It's a little brown, little brown, a little bit of turquoise. And right there. So cute! It is. <clears throat> Backside time. I'm having fun stamping. I gotta go for now, Ruby. I gotta um, make a cakes for tomorrow. Oh, right, right. Okay. Okay. I yeah. I I might jump in and out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye, everyone. Bye. brown there and mostly turquoise it's a pink. wow that's so pretty honest to god it is beautiful and a little brown here turquoise here pink little brown turquoise there we go now I'm going to take a dark color now <clears throat> and play. Um, with some, maybe some pure black. All right. So, put this back here. This little tiny postage stamp is the cutest ever. Okay, and I'm going to just seal that back up. <clears throat> now, I don't know if I want to use that word. Okay. Yep. We're going to use black on this. This is my world famous stamp. The most famous stamp. I love this stamp a lot. A lot. But I'm not going to do the first generation stamp. I'm going to do the second generation stamp. So it's not so bold. And then I'm going to go over top of this. Like so. Whoops, that moved it. I pushed too hard. Which is fun. Yeah. That is so pretty. Hi, Cherry. Hi, Sususa. Clint. Hi. Okay. Do that. Get off some of that ink. You know what? I'm going to have it dark in some spots. I'm going to just rub this with my hand. That roller made it slide. Okay. 
la da da. Wow, look at how pretty. So, if you're going to glue these to each other, when I put the signatures in, <coughs> so what's going to happen is these two signatures are going to sit side by side. So I'm going to glue these two together. So let's turn this inside the other way. So this is on the um, outside and this is on the inside. So I will glue these together and make a pocket so that when the signatures are sewed in, this will be an actual pocket. You see? Hey, Sherry. <clears throat> so that's going to look super wicked cool. So, yeah, I love that. And if I find this boring the way I've done these, they'll get decorated anyway, so I'm not even going to worry about it. But I just wanted to decorate this because I think it's so pretty. So this part here, I'm not going to worry because, like I said, you're gluing this. You're not going to see this. You're just going to be gluing it here. So I'm making that into a pocket. So cute. <clears throat> so that's done. Okay. This is such a beautiful stamp. Oh, my God. I just love, love, love this stamp. And this archival ink is absolutely permanent. It doesn't even wash off the stamps. But then I'm just using water, baby wipe. I don't care if it comes off or not. All right. Okay, so. Now we're going to do something with this little baby because it's very flimsy whimsy. And I need to think what I want to do. Do I want to mod podge it or do I want to just create something with the purple fabric? Make another pocket maybe on top, not on the bottom, like this. Create a pocket with this. That's what I should do. Yes. And I'm going to hand stitch it. There you go. <clears throat> but I'm going to use something behind this. So what else do I have here taken out for fabric? Where did I put all that? I need more fabric. That bird is going to get a mash in the face with the iron. Oh, I don't have any more purple fabric. Huh? What? I has to. Oh, I'll just grab a piece. <clears throat> I'll just grab something here. Um, this might work. Here's a scrap piece. Mint green and purple. <clears throat> and we'll use this for the pockets. And I'll hand sew them. Okay, so I'm going to need a piece. Instead of mod podging it, I'm going to sew it. I'm going to make pockets. Yeah, Tiki, we hear you. Okay, I don't feel like folding you right now. Let's go over there. So, Tiki, thank you. Let's fold you in half. Boy, I cut so straight, it's not even funny. Where's that cut? All right. <clears throat> That's great. Now, to go this way. No, it goes this way. Okay. 
Okay. So I'm going to kind of finger press that open so I can get it nice and straight too. Yes. I need the blade side. I'm just trim this so it's nice and straight. And then I need to cut this. <clears throat> I don't want it sticking out. Oops. The ruler moved a little bit, but I don't care. Okay. I like that. Now, <coughs> we're going to sew it with some, hand sew it, with some um, pretty embroidery thread. So, let me see. get some purple embroidery thread out. Actually, yeah, I could do that. Yes. Why not? <clears throat> Why not, guys, have more pockets? And I'm just going to trim this with my scissors. So we will have another little pocket right in front, another little pocket right there. So it's all on the fold. That's going to be super pretty. <sighs> really, actually, that's that's a cool piece to keep for junk journaling. Look, that's a really cool piece to keep. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to dig out some nice. Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to get my husband to help me. I should sew some lace around it. I'm going to hand sew everything. Because uh, I want it to be unique. And um, um, hand sewing. Um... I wonder what this would be like. This is really shabby, this stuff. And it's like, look at it. It's just really shabby. Uh, no. I don't want to sit here and fight with that. Hi. Uh, make them lace. Well, well, here we go. Now we're talking business. We're talking business. Whoops. What's that? Oh, it's another piece. Okay. I'll be right back, guys. I gotta dig out some purple embroidery thread. Hopefully my husband I might not need him. I just might not. I might be able to do this all by myself. Oh, nope. You can't get these drawers open. Mm -hmm. This has to be slid out and I need to get that drawer. Careful. Careful with this stuff on top, huh? Mm -hmm. 
for performing surgery. Holy cow. Okay, you can slide it back on. Thank you. Alright. Where is it? It fell. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Joan. Hi, Susan. Hi, Judy. <clears throat> Thank you, hon. Okay, so let's find a nice skinny mini needle that's got a point on it. I know I have some skinny ones in here. Um, let's poke through all these layers. Let's just have a little look, see? Oh, yeah. No problem. I could use a doll needle. I don't want to use a doll needle. Those things are so long. They're like six inch long needles. All right. Okay. And I'm going to sew some. This on the outside of the pocket like that. All around, I think. Yep. I'm going to start about there. And so this is DMC embroidery number five five zero floss. And I'm only going to use three, three strands. Good enough. This stuff is a nightmare, but you can do it. You can even sit and hold it, but I don't like doing it that way because this is what happens. It just knots on me. So I usually just do it the hard way. And I usually don't cut pieces this long when I'm doing cross-stitching anyway because <laughs> you'll just have massive knots. There we go. Okay. I'm really no good at sewing by hand. I'm not a hand sewer. Yes, this is Dreams Etc.'s um, junk journal I'm working on, yes. So I really think I either need some pins <clears throat> or some clips. And I need um, I need a piece of paper. Something I can sew this to so it's stiffens it. So is this going to work all the way around here? I think I'm going to just pin this. So we're going to create this to go all the way up. It's going to go like that and that's going to be one set of pockets. But I want it to be a little stiffer. 
So I'm wondering if I should just use a hunk of cardstock. Yeah, I think I just need a hunk of 110 pound cardstock. And that will work. Now I could probably just glue all this, but I'm not going to be taking it the easy way out, the cheating way out. I'm going to tape, pin it to this. Okay, I need to get some pins. So yeah, I want to stiffen it right up. Oh, I don't like that. The way that is. So I'm going to go up to there. Well, I could glue it. No, because then my needle will have to go through all that glue. Okay, I'm going to go get some. Uh, where do I want this paper to end? I could cut it off anyway. Yeah. Okay, bear with me. i got to dig out some pins. I need to work with pins. Okay, Katie, you think I'm crazy doing this? Wait, what? <laughs> Do you think I'm crazy? Muted. Crazy for doing what? I'm sewing this. No. Okay. You sure? Anyone in the audience I'm think positive. I'm crazy? Yeah, I love this thing. Even my bobbins all stick to it. My seam ripper sticks to it. I love that thing. I'm sorry I'm being quiet. I got like a whole stack of paper here I want to get dyed. Get my right. stash back up. I'm running low. That's working out pretty cool. I like. Hi, Carrie. Well, you know, that kind of crazy that, you know, <laughs> like, who's going to sit here and sew paper by hand? Ruby. I don't know. Has anyone ever sewed paper by hand? Well, there's paper and fabric here. So, you know, I'm making ephemera pockets. Just saying. Oops, that didn't go through the paper. Okay, I want that to be you then, Stephen. We'll stick you in first. <laughs> Bootsy, welcome. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm a little odd sewing paper, but you know what? And using a darning needle to sew with is even going to be challenging. But it's got a little point on it. 
and dull scissors. Okay, so we have that piece left. Okay, these guys are kind of in my way for now. So let's get this pocket on here like that. I probably, oh my gosh, I better make sure I get that sewed in. Okay, so let's take another hunk of fabric, of lace, and let's sew this one here. Oh, wait, wrong way. How about we sew this way? Well, you would never know I took a handkerchief, a hanky, and that's what I'm creating all of this out of because of that hanky. This, ouch, don't want to bend. So bend my needle because I'm good at bending my pins when I'm quilting anyway. Okay, so you've got to go back up straight. Now that I mucked it all up here. There. Oh, no, you don't. Don't you fall. straight across here and pin this down. And I'm going to stick a pin here just to hold this so when I sew it, it doesn't move. All right, this is looking pretty good. And I'm pinning paper. Okay. Hey, Roy, who's Roy? Oh, Roy Boots, Bootsy Sweethearts, is that Roy? Welcome, Roy, if that's you. Yes, it is. Yep, that's Roy. Oh, sweet. Glad to have you. Oh, come on. Get in there. Bend that pin if you got to. There we go. It hooked. It, connect, er, it caught. So now I just want to turn it this way to make sure I have this straight and not on going on angle like that. Is on an angle. Oh, I'm going to follow him for sure. I'm going to click on his uh, channel and follow him for sure. Well, it's so nice to have you here, Roy. We have two mans in the house now. We have Roy. Ouch. Ooh. We have Roy and we have Clint. Awesome sauce. Did you stick yourself there? Yes, that pin stuck right in my arm. Ow, see? That's why I don't use pins. I use those clips, those wonder clips. I hate pins so much. All right. I guess I should get a sharper pair of scissors. <laughs> One thing's for sure. They cut paper really well, huh? 
So, what do you guys think of my cool little pockets? Those are going to be so cool. <laughs> All right, let's start sewing. And I'm just pretending I'm doing a straight stitch. <laughs> Don't anyone make fun of that. We do need a knot in our Pippa. And we don't need you as fake and femora. So I'm just pretending <clears throat> I am doing a stitch. I am really not good at this, so don't judge me. And I had to wrap that around the pin, seriously. Oh, come on. Already. Already a great start. There you go. Well, I can't take very small stitches. I'm trying, but I can't. Because these pins are dangerous to my health. Oh my god, that's so crappy sewing. <laughs> I can't even sew. Sorry. <laughs> Look at my two stitches. <laughs> oh god. Okay. This is where you need to pull out the sewing machine, Ruby. And do the sewing. But then that's cheating. I just finished saying I wasn't going to cheat. But that's cheating. Maybe I want to cheat. Okay, not big, huge gaps. Oh, so that can come off. I'm just going to take bigger stitchers. I don't care. Ow! KK! All these pins. Seriously. They're going to kill me. Sewing machine is safer. <laughs> but then I can't do this nice purple thread. Nice and thick like this. Which I like. I'll be so glad when I'm done with pins. What's the last saying? There's no beauty if there's no pain. <laughs> right. I should have started at the other side so I didn't have to reach over all these pins like a dickhead. Ow. I don't care. I'm this is looks laughing every time you say out. <laughs> <sighs> Put the pins the other direction. I can't change them now. Uh, it's too much time. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put a little dabby of glue here just to hold that knot in place because it feels like it wants to come through and I don't want it to come through. So just put that piece of glue there for now. Just so you all know, KK is laughing at me every time I poke myself. That is just so rude. And that's why I'm using a dull needle, so I don't poke myself. I could slowly get rid of pins.
Okay. Come on. Don't tangle. I always got to do something complicated in every junk journal I make. Hey, Joyce. I'm just making sure I'm catching all the layers of the fabric. That's all I'm doing. I could pull out my sewing machine, but then that's more, too much work. Way too much work. It's pretty cute. It is. Oops, that's way too big of a stitch. Oh. Tweezers, pliers, anybody. So this one I'm going to go down just because I want to take a smaller stitch on the corner here and pray it come up the right way. Not make a million holes. I'm going to go back in there. There. So we'll be trimming off this paper to here. So this just sticks over the edge. What do you think? I think it's pretty cool. I do. Different. Oh. Slowly getting rid of these needles. Oops. Oh, kind of missing that pocket right there. There we go. It's a little crooked. But I think that looks kind of cool, though. Honest to God. Don't you guys? Hmm? Speak now! Oh, hi, Janie. I didn't see you here, hon. I love it, too. Even though it's sloppy sewing, I think that's better than machine and cheating like KK does with her sewing machine. Because she sews everything with her machines. I'm scared to use my machine with paper. I, they're too expensive. <laughs> I don't want to use them with paper. This is where it's going to start getting challenging. Because I got pins from here to yin yang. Wait till Dai Dai gets here and sees how she has to do her next pocket. <laughs> Three cheers for Dai Dai. Hey. Can't wait to watch her tonight sewing her pockets. What about you, KK? Ooh. 
What about you? Talking to you, KK. All right, so I'm going to go down. And then I'll come back. Up. Sorry, KK was fingers deep in tea. Okay, so Got how it? do you... What do you think about Dada watching her tonight while she sews pockets by hand? Um, I, hmm, I see her uh, going at it with you like another thing, Ruby. <laughs> 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 she, yep, right. I agree, Teresa. I'm, I'm saying the same thing. I think she's going to kill you. <laughs> Yeah, she probably is. <laughs> Let's not think about Dai Dai. Dai Dai, I love you. She's, watch, watch her pop in in like five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's going to freak out. This is going to be a little challenging, guys. Getting my paper. Getting through to the paper. And then picking up a stitch. But making it Four inches big. All right, be right back. I want to stick my fingers back in tea. <laughs> She's probably at the nail saloon, all right. She's probably thinking of a way she can kill me while she lives in New Zealand. <laughs> She's planning it, guys. She's planning. She's planning a murder party. Wow, that's a really crooked stitch, but you know what? Unique. It's very <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure I catch all the pieces. Uh -huh. I wish I was left-handed, but I'm not. So it makes it really tough. Grab that stitch and make it a normal size. Give me a hard time. Let's see if I can bend it this way. Yes. There we go. That's an idea. Bend it. Come on, bend. Stay in there. There we go. Okay, why is one of my stitches, my threads not done? Going through. There we go. Let's fix you so we stay even, Steven. Because I do not know how these threads got crooked. Okay. I'm not a giver upper. Just this middle piece is very challenging, but it, it'll work. Ugh. Wow. I must have crooked eyes. <laughs> Look at my stitches. <laughs> I'm not taking those out. This is not going to happen. Are you just now realizing it? Mm, what? You just said you have crooked eyes. Yes. All right. <laughs> Pull up your head. I'm Ruby, trying, trying to. So like it's fabric go in and out. <laughs> yeah, but it's too hard to find. If I do it this way, I'll be here trying to poke holes to find the right spot. I'll have a million holes in the back of my paper. See. Well, maybe that'll work just on this spot. So 
So this is how you do it, <clears throat> Dai Dai. Just saying. When you sew tonight, she's going to kill me. She really is going to kill me. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. Thanks, KK. You should have helped me sooner. You waited till I put those embarrassing crooked stitches in. Um, <laughs> that was Joyce. So Joyce should have helped you sooner. Why? <clears throat> and that said it. She said, Ruby, you're trying to sew like it's fabric. Go in and out. It is fabric, though. <clears throat> On paper. Oh, thank the Lord. Oops. We got one side done. Whew. I think I'll sew it this way from now on. Okay. Let's run a bead of glue on there. It's, I won't be cutting that off. All right. Oh, wow. Those pulled right through. <clears throat> Whoops. Dang it. I don't want to on my brand new mat. Oh, look, see, that didn't that didn't catch in there. I missed that. So you know how I'm going to fix that? With a wee bit of tiny glue. I'm going to cheat if I have to. Just a little bit. There we go. That's fixed. Okay. It's just for some pretty ephemera. Let's see. I got a little bit of ephemera here we can use. Oh, look at this one. Does that fit? Nope, too big. Smaller stuff. Well, you know what? I think what you're gonna, gonna have to do is. Around the corners so it'll make it for going into sliding in there a lot easier I do not know why my punch punched all of them like that let's see well let's see if there's a taller skinnier one no, oh, that's a shorty. Um, hmm. This one's so pretty. Just trying it. That's all I'm doing. Here's a postcard, which I think is too big. Yep, it's too big. Put a few in there. 
I'm not finished cutting out all my... Oh, hey. These are a little big, though. Um, I could trim them down. I could try. Let's see. Don't want to lose too much of them. Super cool. Super cool. Okay. I could see why it's not cutting right. It's clogged. Something was in it. You know what? That one's too big. Let me use my little punch board. I don't want it to take that num check number off. This is um, Taylor Taylor's Journals and Femras. I love them. And we'll see how that works. That's much better. Put one here. That is super cute, guys. We'll do that with this one too in a bit. No, I don't want that one. I want something else. Coats and Clark. There we go. We could fill it with that. Oh, this pretty little girl for some color. These are all sewing ones. This is the sewing ephemera. So pretty. Look at this. This has got some color. Could put it there. Just load this with ephemera. What's this one? Really don't know. Mm, there we go. There. I like that. So we'll load the other side up and we'll distress them. So that's my little bit of ephemera so far. Got cut up of Taylor made. This is so cute. I love it. I really love it. So we'll put you over there. And we'll get back to sewing. Back to the reality, guys. Let's get back to the reality. Um, yeah, I can't sew any other direction. Hmm, because you're not. Nice speaking knot. Don't want you pulling out. Fair enough. Oh, whoa. Uh, pulled my needle off. Yes, I did, and we'll be able to play again starting tomorrow. Play what, Susan? Hun? Beautimus, thank you, Teresa. Ow! Did you guys hear that? Nice little hook with the pin. Oh. 
Oh, I've got to get rid of another pin. Oh, that's wonderful, Susan. Did you print off the digi set yet? What kind of crafts does Roy do? Anybody know? I can see it coming out there. I didn't get it with the pin. I'm gonna have to make sure I'm careful. Yeah, don't overdo it, Susan. Okay, well now what'd you say I go? Make sure I've got the purple snagged in there. Mm -hmm. Sure do. Oh, I'm going to be um, watching your videos T tonight. When I go to bed, I always turn YouTube on and I just binge watch people. <laughs> So I'll be binge watching you. I'm going to be creeping your book or your book, your videos. I love all kinds of crafts like that, Roy. I do. I even watch homesteading. I just love that. Not that I'll ever go and pickle my own eggs, you know, for the entire winter. Keep my eggs fresh, not pickled eggs, but you, you keep them fresh in the shell. Ugh, I don't think I could do it. And all this fermented stuff, I can't do it. It's better for you, they say, but yeah, I just can't do it. Can't bring myself to, to do it. But they do say it's healthier. But I love watching. I don't just sit and watch paper crafting videos. Or, or I like to watch all kinds of things. Some things that interest me. Some things that don't. I don't watch it. I fall asleep. <laughs> while the videos are blank. But I usually sit and just put a channel on. And then. If they got playlists, I'll hit the playlists, and that way, if I wake up during the night, it's still playing, and it doesn't pause. If you don't put on a playlist, YouTube automatically pauses your video when there's no movement on your computer. So, yeah, that's why I like playlists. That's why I put my videos in playlists. Just... Don't have to sit there and flick on click on every ouch video. Okay, so you can come out. 
Wow. One, two, three more pins to go. Less poking. Hey. Oh, yeah. I can't. I can't do apple cider. Well, not apple cider vinegar, but I love apple cider. Love, love, love it. So we're going to have to move this because it did not catch the purple fabric underneath. And that's a big no-no. We need to catch our purple fabric. As long as I can see it through that lace, I'm good. And see where this is sticking up? I'm going to make some French knots there and just hold those down. How are you? Yeah, if you put if uh, you put the video in um, a playlist, if you start watching a playlist, so why is this doing that? I do not know. Um, YouTube won't pause it. The playlist just keeps playing until there's no more videos left in the playlist. Totally missed the how I did that, I don't know, but I totally missed the lace. <laughs> But I watch a lot of those homesteading videos. I, I'm subscribed to this one uh, channel. It's a husband and wife that grow everything, preserve everything. Um, they rarely buy anything from stores because she's preserving everything, including cow's milk, to last them all winter. I'm like, holy man, I couldn't do that. I don't think I could eat a year old eggs. I just couldn't do it. Even though they're preserved in this lye solution, I believe it is. But she pickles everything, cans everything. I mean, it's it's fun to watch because they're hardworking, hardworking people. And they've got like five kids. So, you know, that's probably the most economical thing to do. And probably better for your environment and your health to eat homegrown stuff and homemade stuff that's why Jeff and I rarely eat out I'm so scared of the crap that they put in your food or they spit in it or poison it for all you know this way I know what's in my food when I'm cooking it I think I had a knot in the lace. Well, this is so cool. Even though if the stitching is not neat, I think it just makes it look super unique like that. We're almost done. Oops. 
Whose bright idea was to sew this? Anyway, make this. KK, it's your fault. I'll just blame KK today. Since no one else is on the panel. Oh, Jeff's on the panel. Yeah, we could blame Jeff. By the way, for those of you like our new people, like Roy, Roy, the Smurf guy on the panel is my husband, Jeff. In case you don't know who Smurf Smurfy is there. That's Jeffrey. Jeff Mar they call him Jeff Marie. <laughs> I do anyways. All right. How cool is this, guys? I'm going to put some French knots here just to camel those down a bit. That is super cool. So I'm going to run my needle through this one more time here. And poke it off here. For some reason, it's not snagging into the green. There we go. I'll just do it that way. Now, I think I'm going to take my scissors and do a nice little trimming. Make sure I'm not cutting any of my threadings. I'm going to get nice and close to the green. That is so cool. This is cute. should we do on this back side so I'm just going to use this glue and I'm going to bring it down like so I'm going to burn my fingers things but I want it flattened Goodness, that's so super cute. These need to be tacked down. But I need to do something with this part. So I'm thinking, what should I put on the back? It's going to fold this way. Put it pretty straight, I think. And it's going to go inside the album like that. So this will be on one side. 
And then we need something here to hide all this. First of all, let me make some French knots and tack this down. Might not have enough thread. I just want to hold you guys down a bit. How do you do this? Oh, this way. Oh, let's do three wraps. That didn't work. Dummy. How do you do French knots? Don't you come up, wrap it around the needle a couple times, and then go back down the same hole? Isn't that so what I up. just did? <clears throat> And, and you're then, supposed to hold no, it. No, no, wrap it. No, wrap it around the needle first, and then go I down did. The Look, wrap. it's wrapped around the needle. Let's try this. I know you're supposed to hold it. No, that's not working. <coughs> I know how I'll tack it down. The real easy way. A little bit of glue. That's the way. Just a little bit of glue. Not going to hurt nothing. I can't be bothered to. I've never made French knots. I'm not an embroiderer. I've seen people do it. I just don't know how to do it. I'm just so, Ruby, cool when you bring it up from the back, when you bring it up from the back, bring the thread all the way through, then take the thread. Let me see if I can show you on my finger. So say this is the needle. You take the thread and wrap it around a needle like this. Then you go back down in the hole and it forms a French knot. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I'm not going to bother. I already glued it, KK. So I need something not too thick to go on this because I don't want to make this so thick that it's not going to get uh, closed. So I need to think of what I want to do. So let me think. Think, 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 groups. What do you want to do on the back? I could do many things. What do I want to do is the question. I want to camouflage this. I just think this is so pretty. I really, really love this. It's just cute. I could trim off this a little bit. And maybe cover each side. Yeah, I could do that with some fab, not fabric, but uh, paper. Um, Yes, I know what I could use. Some of my design paper I'm going to use. Do I want thin or thick? I think I want it thin. I want thin paper. I'll use that sheet. I'm going to try and get it centered. Ruby, are you not clicked on you? Oh, whoops. No. I was clicked on you. Sorry. Sorry, peeps. All right. So, I need to trim this a bit. Okay, so I'm 
want it to be. Well, it's not very square. Oopsies. All right, I can't see because of that crookedness there. So there. There. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's off. That off. All right. So I'm going to glue this in here like this. That is going to be pretty. So I'm going to round the corners. Why not? And then I'm going to ink it up. And I think I'm going to use a combination of purple and brown for inking. So we'll use some purple. We'll use some coffee. Change the color of the purple a little bit. Dull it a little tad bit. But why am I doing that side? Duh! I want this side. <laughs> I'm gluing that side down, guys. I think this is kind of neat with the purple and the brown. I just think it's kind of cool. Don't you? Yes. Yeah, some. Why not? Made this beautiful mess. That is super cool. All right. I like that. I'm going to decorate it. I'll put something here and here. Maybe tux. A tux spot! Die Dice showed me a new tux spot last night. Yes. That's what I could do. All right, art glitter glue time. I'm actually not going to use this tiny wee end because this takes way too long to spread glue. And my Tombow glue bottle, my daughter has it at her house. You know me, I need lots of glue. And I'm gluing some, some bumpy stuff, so I need to be very, very liberal with the glue. And you are not straight. Let's make sure it gets in there. Oh, 
my goodness, that's super cool. Super, super cool. I love, 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 love this. Now, this is all the ephemera that I wanted to put in this one. Lorna, are you okay with me putting your ephemera in here to sell with my junk journal? I want to make sure. Oops. I have your permission. I will be putting some of Dreams Etc. in here too. That belongs with this. We'll put this in there. This is a big one. It can go up here. And all the small ones can go here. Here. And there. I just love this. <laughs> what do you guys think? I'm going to put uh, lines behind this all. The other pocket here, I'll put dreams, etc. stuff in, but I haven't got that pulled up right now. Got everything kind of put away while I was crafting over here. So, Okay. All right. Now, you guys like this? So we've gotten <laughs> not much done, but I really think that looks super cool up against this is going to be a pocket. So that's super cool. This one might be a little bit, tad bit too long. I'll probably have to cut it down a bit. That's okay. I'll cut the word dollars off and then nobody will know. And then I'll round the corners off again. Okay. I just can't have it sticking out that much. There we go. Thank you. Now, on to... I need a little break. I got to get up. I can't sit here like this. I don't know how anyone can sit in one spot for a long period of time because I can't do it. I just get a sore back. There. And then this will be, this is from Dreams Etc. This will be going in here. Look at how pretty. Oh my gosh. I love it. I really love this. This might be a little too much in ephemera. Okay, I'm not the only one that can't just sit in one spot. I can't. I got to get up and let my back just walk around for a minute. Or I'll be leaving. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this. And I want to put this time card in here. Yeah. I like the time card better than that. So. I did make one of Die Die's envelopes. But it's a little big. I was showing somebody how to do it. Okay, I'll be right back. KK, do you have anything you want to show? Show your your tea dyed papers that you're making. <laughs> okay. Oh wow! I'll, I'll you made that. all those. Well, and then the oh. the stack that I'm uh, folding in half. <laughs> that I fold it in half. Yep. So what I do? Okay, I still have a little bit of stack that I have to finish, but um, I'm going to do something different with this stash. 
I take regular white copy paper and I actually crum crumple it up to form all of these little different lines. So that way the, and my fingers are tired from it. Um, the tea will soak into the cracks or coffee. And then I, I t do mine in the oven at 310 for like a couple minutes. And then I, you know, I switch them out. This set I'm going to mix with some tea and some food coloring so I can get like a peachy kind of color I think I'm going to try for. I just took a break because I crumpled a lot of papers this morning. And then, <clears throat> so they come out looking like this. And like you got these little spots on here like this. That's from the pan. I don't mind that. It gives it that grungy look. You know, different like big blotches. Um, then I have some here that I set aside. Let me see if I can find it. I got a whole stack. Okay, so, and then I take my tea bags and I actually sit them on a, a piece of paper like this. And then this also gets cooked in the oven. Is that not cool? This I'm going to turn into a digital when I'm done with it. And it, then you could do like drips on your page like this and then let it slide down. And then this is what you get. Um, I got a whole stack over here too that I'm working on. I still need to fold in half. <laughs> no, I did this just the little bit of time that um, since Ruby's been live. And then I'm working on another one. I'm working on this one right here. As soon as I get a little bit more darker, I will tell everybody how I did this one. Because does that not look cool? And um, I just got to do it a couple more times. And then this one I'm probably also turn into a digital. I just like how it's like sandy gritty looking. So that's what I'm doing. Those are two that are going to be digitals. And then I just, you know, fold them in half. When I run low, I make more. Like that. And then, so if you got cheesecloth, you could dye your cheesecloth, but you just can't cook it in the oven. <laughs> I air dry, air dry the cheesecloth. So that's what I'm working on because I'm trying to get my um, dyed papers back up. I only have 110 pound weight left dyed and I don't have any more copy paper. But just know that when you crinkle papers, you are going to get paper cuts, especially the big stack that I crinkled. Like, can you imagine? This is not even dyed yet, and that's just from crinkling it. Okay, so the best, I recommend instant tea or instant coffee. And the darker you can get, the better it dyes your papers. Now, if you want to light, then you go light. Just like if you like your coffee dark, you go dark. Uh, that's the same way with paper. I like it kind of dark. But um, let me, I'll show y'all. I was working a little bit more on the journal last night. I'll keep talking until she gets back. Um, I'm adding different stuff in it. So... Um, yeah, there's my little uh, collage bookends. There's that one. And I was putting other stuff in here last night, and I'm going to look for it. No, that's not it. Let me pull that out. <laughs> hey, I just did. I just did. All right, hold on. Let me. Um, I'm trying to find it. I know I put it in here. Uh -huh. And you can also tea dye your doilies the same way. And you can also cook them in the oven. This is also tea dyed. And I got it holding in place with the paper clip. And it's like pocket and tuck spots right here. Um, Where is it at? I know I put one in here. Oh, look. I made a new one. Is that not cute? I made a little miniature tag. A little pocket. So I made a whole bunch of these. 
and, um, and my little bookends. I made a whole bunch of these. Ah, oh, so pretty. I just love that. Uh, was it this one? Okay, yeah. Okay, which one? Let me see. Hold on. Is it back quite a bit, Teresa? This one? I know, isn't it pretty? And this was, um, this was Ruby's ephemera. Because this is all mine and Ruby's papers. And I'm making the junk journal with it. And I glued just the tips here and the edge and made it a tuck spot. And then also the paper clip little embellishment thingy that I put on here to help hold it in place. Okay, so wait a minute. It was, yep, it was an envelope. This is an envelope. Let's see. And then I could have sworn I put, um, oh yeah, okay, so I have this really vintage wallpaper right here. Can you see that? I, I got a whole roll of it, actually, like a big roll right here. And I've been using this, too, for little bookend tabs. And it's embossed. I don't know if you can see the embossing on it. Is that not pretty? So I put a tab in here. This is a tuck spot right here. Uh, I, I don't want to show this too much because this is going to be, I'm going to do a recorded video of this. And then, uh, I guess I got to show you this. This is Ruby's ephemera. I got some lace. This is hers too. If you pull this out like this and you open it up, you could journal here. So it's like a hideaway journal. You could journal on the back of that too. And then you slide it back in here, tuck it in, and you tuck it underneath the lace. And this paper right here, um, this paper right here is a uh, vintage uh, scrapbook paper. Um, they had these big scrapbooking pads, not like how they have them today, but it was like this paper. So this is like really old. And then, you know, I still got to add stuff here. And then this, I made this into a tuck spot. This was the trifold thingy. That's a tuck spot. But then you can open this up like this and you can write on it. And then fold it back. And of course, I'm going to make a paper clip embellishment to go here. I got them all made right here. I just ain't got to put them in yet. I got to decorate them. As Ruby would say, decorate. And then I took the uh, butterflies and I cut them in half. And I glued them to where they were look like they were hugging the page. So they're like little flip tabs. And I use Tim Holtz Distress Inks to do the uh, doilies. That I'm going to back with 110 pound car set. Okay, okay, do you bake your papers? And if you don't. Um, I bake my papers, but you can let them air dry. Like this summer, I plan on doing a whole bunch. Trying to stock up for the winter. That's the best time to do it. Yeah, if you dry them in the That's sun, the they, get, they get nice and crispy in the sun. But doesn't okay, the... Uh, on, Ruby, did you be doesn't, uh, I'm just, I, I think I did something pretty cool here, and I like this. Oh, my God. I think that is my favorite paper clip is this one right here. Isn't that cute?
<laughs> what I Jamie did. says she bakes hers for crunch. <laughs> yeah, that's why I bake mine for crunch. The texture. The te uh, yeah, me too. Love it. Okay, mutant. Okay, whoops. So what I'm doing here is I took a new pad and I'm inking it with purple and I'm inking it with coffee. So that way, when I ink something, I've got double color because I want the brown with the purple. <clears throat> so I gotta make this seven and seven eighths. So let me trim off the bottom. With a seven and seven eighths. And four, five and a quarter wide. Five and a quarter. Okay. And watch how beautiful it inks up if you use double. See? I've got the two colors in here now, the purple and the brown. And I just think that looks super cool. And I'm going to go over all my pages with this colors. And uh, stain them with some brown in it because I want it to look vintagey. So you can still see purple and you can still see coffee. And I like that. I really do. So it gives it the old look, but it's still got my purple. That page is done. I like that much better. It's purple, but it's still got lots of brown in it. That's done. This is done. Now I'm going to do this envelope. And we're going to open it because we're going to Jigger. See, this is crunchy because I cooked it in the oven. That's why this is crunchy like this. So that's done. Now this has to be cut down to seven and seven eighths by five and a quarter. Which isn't too bad and I think I'm just going to maybe put a little bit of gesso on this one but I want to because it's super shiny and I want to be able to write on this oh wait a minute this is the Universal Studio yeah this is cool I made ephemera with this, guys, with all these papers I got from um, 
I will be putting them in Etsy. But all those papers I got from the antique shop, I scanned them up and made them into ephemera, which they are in my kits, actually. Do I have one here to show you? Yeah. This, this here is prepped for the kit, but this is from my, um, uh, what do you call it? My Timeless Rose collection, but this is the ephemera I made that I'm putting in the kits. So I, I scanned all this stuff up, envelope, all these things, the stamps and everything, the coffee bag, which is in here in my um it's in my journal i'm using it in here and these first day cover um things that's a little fold out there's the universal studios and there's the map and the newspapers that i got the 1928 one so there's uh universal studios map so cool yep been doing a lot of prepping for these kits and they're going to be beautiful and you see what's in them <laughs> go on yep. yep 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 do i want to wreck this with just going on see that's really hard to decide whoa what am i doing Wrecking it. Okay, so I'm going to move this, move that. Just for this inside. Listen. Hi, Linda. This here is really old. You can tell it's super old. <clears throat> and I think I cut the date off of it. I can't remember if I did or not. It's even all yellowed, but it's so so pretty. I just want to just so it a wee bit. Like this will dry so transparent. But you can write on it. <clears throat> so let me just make that a wee bit thicker. Really running right there. Stay down. Okay, I'm gonna dry this a bit.
Try something. I need a piece of the lips. Um, <coughs> this would be cool to try. See how this works. I need to cut up a little piece. Brown fingers, yay. I got caca hands. Caca hands. I don't wear gloves. Just can you guys know that by now? I don't wear gloves. <clears throat> okay. All right. Let's switch you with you. Let's take this wet piece of lace. And let's stick it down on here. Let's let's roll this baby. Why ain't that working? You rotten pygmy. Huh. Um, what else can I use? I could use Lindy's spray, but that that dries so quickly. Uh-huh. I could use brown paint. Okay, Lorna, thank you, hon. <clears throat> uh, okay. Let me get some Lindy spray. I need to saturate that with color. Um, brown. Maybe some purple. We shall see. Where's my brown? This one's very purple. Mm -hmm. And where's my purple? Mm -hmm. and this one's called Pirate Thunder Gold. No, I don't want gold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Found it. All right. 
Okay, so if I'm going to spray this stuff, I really want to cover my board. Actually, I'm just going to get rid of it because you can see I already got ink on my beautiful new work surface. And that brown ink doesn't come off. So let me move that. Let's play with some Lindy sprays. I don't want this, but I do want this. this paper. And this is wet, too. Perfect. Cool. Touch it with a bit of purple. Okay, I want to move everything out of the way, including you. Get a new piece. I'll put this here. Let's see how this works now. This is saturated. With Lindy's. Oh, crap. -ola. It didn't really work. Well, it did away. I think there's another color I might like. This one here is some teal. 
Oops. Plugged and I'm not peeing around with it. Oh wow, that looks cool. What do you think of that?
All right. I think that's pretty cool. Oops. That was the brown one. That's the teal one. Now. Now I want to dry brush some gesso on this. I'm going to dry off my brush as much as I can. No, I don't have dirty hands, so, okay, so, I want to dry brush some paint. There we go. What do you think? Dry this up a little, little wee 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 bit because it is still very wet. I'm so happy you have joined us. You joined us, Roy. Thank you so much. And we're for sure going to check out your channel. I'm going to be binge watching you tonight. <laughs> so thank you for coming. Now, I want to put a few more, a little bit more vibrant, dark 
darker brush strokes. The odd one, a dry brush, very dry brush. Just give it some real darker lines here. The odd place here. All right, need one right there. In there. Darker. Darker. There we go. Blend it to the bottom. Wow, that is wicked cool. <laughs> I could make this. I could make this, guys, as a background. I'll scan it. And y'all can download it. So, how many of you want this for a background? Because I don't want to waste my time doing it. I will put it for free in the group. And I'll scan this. It is super cool. I can't even tell you. Um, I think I'm going to do something else to it. Very lightly. I am going to put some writing on it. And I think I'm going to use purple and black. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to mix up the colors. And no, I think I'm going to use coffee stain instead. And which way is it up? Wicked. <laughs> okay, Katie, you like my background? Yes, Ruby, it's pretty. It's pretty, eh? Mm hmm. Oh, hi, Dai Dai. Yep, Dai Dai is in the house. Wait till she sees what I'd said about hi, her on the video. Hi, Lynn. Oh, your headache's not gone. Oh, 
Woohoo. <laughs> this is cool. I could just sit here and do mixed media all day. With no life. I love mixed media. I just love it. And I think it's beautiful in journals. So. Just gives it that extra special lovings. Muffin. What else do we need to do? A little stamping. Cool. Something darker. There we go. Oh, need something here too. Whoops. Mhm. Mm Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> I think I like that already. A big mess in my room. I really did. This Lindy spray is going to take forever to get off my fingers. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Dai Dai is still in bed. Really, Dai Dai, get up. I thought you were a princess or a queen or something. You know, what is your problem? You need to rewatch this video, that's for sure. See what I made for you to do on your tonight's video. Do you hear me, Dai Dai? All right, now we need to, oh, I just put it away. We need to whack it with a little bit more gesso. You know, just to camouflage some of this bright ink. Where it's really super intense and dark. And this is how you do it. Just dab it on. Oh, that's why she's still in bed, eh? All right. This is super pretty cool. I love it. Now, look at all the things. So, why waste stuff? Let's just make a mess on everything. Dirty fingers. No rhyme or reason. I think I'll just put this lace one here and decorate it. 
but I think it needs to be purple. Yeah, this color sucks. I'm gonna wash it. Let's give it a little washy poo. Oh, wait, I didn't say nothing mean about you. I just said I can't wait for you to make what I made on today's video in your video tonight. Right, guys? I was super nice. I wasn't mean. I didn't even call you a bitch. I need something. Where are you? Right here. Here's me. With some purple lace. Purple rain. I think this turned kind of. Oh, yeah, kind of purple. Very kind of purple. Okay. I'm actually just going to leave that to dry. Exactly like. And Teresa said that she would throw you under the bus. But it would take a train to tell you the things that you said about die die. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, shh, shut your pie hole. Secret is not getting out. Don't you tell die die nothing. She can't know. She has to watch the video. Just that's how the ball bounces. You know. How you do it. This is super cool, and I will scan this and put this up for a background. Nice purple hues to it. <laughs> I agree, I agree, Lorna. She's shutting her pie hole now. Bi Dye is probably going to be frantically, frantically panicking to watch this, re watch this video so she can see what we said about her. Huh? Shh. Don't tell her. It's a secret. The <laughs> I believe it, Shirley. <laughs> Hi, <Pie>, please. <laughs> the train I think I'm gonna be thrown under the bus <laughs> well it is a little dampy poo but I think this page is flipping wicked cool I really do I don't want to cover this just because it's so old and the, this page just looks like someone, I got an idea. Hang tight, guys. I'll be right back. You shut up. Get in here and speak now or you forever hold your peace, Die Die. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to get, I'm going to get something that's going to take me a minute. KT, can you chat? Yeah, thanks. Hey. Oh, thank you. What shall I chat about? Who you have in coming here, Die Die? <clears throat> Hello, everyone. 
I guess I'll be the conductor of the train. Are you done using the blender? Um, nope. No. Hubby's making his lunch. Pie. Is anybody else crafting? I just finished folding my 100 billion pieces of tea dye paper. That was done at 310 degrees. What you should buy today. Mm. Well, I kind of enabled uh, dye dye and Ruby kind of sort, I guess, to buy the uh, pocket punch board by We Are Memory Keepers. It's really cool. It makes up to 100 different size papers. Ooh, I'm praying for him. Look, there's Dai Dai. <clears throat> Hi, Dai Dai. Okay. Oh, so Teresa on. asked if everybody could pray for her hubby's cousin. He's um, in the hospital with kidney failure. Oh. Okay, Linder. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Teresa. So sorry, Leroy, if you can hear me. Leroy's a sweetie. And then what else is, um, oh, Lynn's on buy restriction again. And Crystal, the book binding guide by We Are Memory Keepers is also a must buy. Yes, they do, hon. What else? What else can you think of, Dai Dai, that we've enabled everybody to buy? Uh, just about everything in the crafting world. Uh, <laughs> 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 let's, put, let's put down what not has been enabled. Um, <laughs> I mean, you know what would be shorter? <laughs> the things not to buy. <laughs> A lot better, yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I dread to think what I'm going to start I making to... today. I was actually I'm having me lunch through room. a straw. I was actually on the mm. in the craft room till twelve o'clock last night. Hmm? Yes, do you need a, a store? <laughs> right, Crystal? <laughs> um, uh, if you haven't gotten Ruby's digitals, that's a start. You could buy those. You know, it is in her Etsy store now. Yes, and there's, then there's yours as well. And they're both um, in Crafty Kiwi page. If they don't know where else to go. <laughs> um, let's see. Buying digitals, period, is a plus. <clears throat> um, I don't know. <laughs> There's just so many things that you can buy. Go I'm buy not... in old books. <laughs> yeah, I've started doing that in the last few days. I need to go buy me a manicure. I tea dyed my fingers all tea. They're all tea colored now. Oh. Oh, what's she got now? Who? Ruby. What you got now? 
You muted, Ruby. I think she done brewed her up some coffee. Did you get there some coffee there, Ruby? I have coffee and tea. Look at who's here. It's Di Di. <laughs> it's Di Di. And this is really dark roast coffee and two tea bags of Good some morning. kind. Oh my God. I wanted it dark because we're going to stain this paper. Oh. As soon as my husband gets here. Oh, you're lovely, Teresa. I love you. Thank you. All right. We are going to coffee stain it. We're making ring around the rosy, pocket full of posy. <laughs> you mucky pot. I'm having fun. Now, let's dry them. And I want to do a few splats. Oh, I love the smell of this cooking. <laughs> I'm cooking my coffee. <laughs> I thought you were going to drink from the salsa like a kitty cat. <laughs> coffee now. This one showed up super cool. Yeah, it smells pretty good when you cook it. in case you didn't notice. Ow! This is kind of hot. I need splats. Oh, I love the smell of this. Hey. Tea and coffee, anyone? Take some of that liquid off. We can keep our rings. <laughs> ring around the closing. <laughs> that looks wicked. I like it. I can't wait for your show tonight to watch you make what I did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I just can't wait. Oh, yeah. Can it hurry up and be nice? Nando can ask why is this Travis time on before I need more to. What? I have to wait a few hours before I even watch it because it has to download. Oh, right. You're right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dang. This is pretty cool. <laughs> I like my ring around the rosy. I need a coffee ring right there. <clears throat> and I need one right there. And then we need to dab that up. Oh, look, someone stained my paper. Dang. I hope you can photocopy that side as well. You want this one too? Yeah. Oh, all right then. This is so cute. Oh, God, what are we going to let that soak a little? I want a double ring. Let it soak. Dry it in a bit. Let it soak. Come on, you can do it. There we go. And let's dab it up. Very faint coffee. Look good for it. No, 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 no. There we go. Look at it. I'm going that soak for a little momento. Mm -hmm. So, we're playing with coffee now. Do I ever do anything properly? All right, Dai Dai. I'm showing you what you're going to make tonight. Oh, my God. You're going to be making this. Oh. Whoa. But look. I sewed fabric and I hand sewed lace. And I made tuck spots. Look at Dai Dai. And it's just pieces of fabric with lace around it. And I hand stitched it with embroidery thread. Mm -hmm. You'll be doing this tonight. But I hate sewing. It's hand sewing. Either, either. Stop being lazy. <laughs> oh, oh, actually, coffee on it. I can't do it on the, today because my box has not arrived with all my new laces in it. Oh. <laughs> Can you find any more excuses? She's telling me she has no lace at all, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> None. Imagine that. Imagine Dai Dai lying to me like that, guys. <laughs> Actually, nice this was a handkerchief. This yeah. part here was a handkerchief. And I put a piece of fabric behind it. This is the hanky right here. And then I put a piece of purple in there to make extra pocket. So I can't wait for you to make this tonight. It's very nice. I like it very much. Well, you should make it. Stop dwelling on stuff. Get her done. 
Oh my God, I love this piece of paper. I don't know, it's just junky looking, but I don't know. I just, I love the coffee stains, how they turned out. Can you see them? Yeah, we'll scan it. Go on, scan it. Yeah, I will scan it and I'll put it in my group, both, both sides. That is so cute. So maybe tomorrow we're going to do some jelly plating. What do you think, KK? Oh, my God. What? Yes, because Kathy asked me privately if we could do that, and I had already talked to you about that. But, yeah, that sounds like a plan. Jelly plate time. Because... <laughs> And we might be enabling people to buy jelly plates. Oh, I've got a jelly plate. <laughs> this is my art book that you can plates. see. Wow, it's so three-dimensional. Holy crap. Look at this. <laughs> I think I'm going to tear these out and frame them. Because I think they would look super cool in frames. What do you guys think? Uh, yes. I think that'll look cool. I love art journals. Yes, this was the one I've done. And then I remember this was, whoops. I have to keep this piece of vellum because those two snag because it's so thick. I loved how this one turned out too. Don't Already put your life on that. hold to watch someone else live their dream. I remember watching you do that. Should we give a little, a few supplies that people can use besides just stencils? You've got bubble wrap, you got toilet paper rolls. I love that one. Oh. Any kind of different objects you can use for it. Yeah, I think I'm going to frame these guys because I think they're so three dimensional and so sparkly. They look, look at, like paper towel. Like, look at how thick this page is. Yeah. Not even kidding you. It's just layer upon layer upon layer upon layer. To frame that, you've got to box it first, box the actual picture, so that that doesn't touch the glass. Well, I have I have frames. I'll you show have you. Sunken. Jeff, can you reach one of these frames, on? <clears throat> I got six of them. And I can get more because they're from the dollar store. I'm going to try it. Somebody wants me to scan them. <laughs> Jeff, are you here? Jeff and Marie, you're wanted. Can you come and try and reach one of those frames up on that top shelf? Wow. See those those frames up high there? Yep. I'll see if one of these will fit in it. Yeah, I'd love to see inside the she shed. <laughs> and my four drawer filing cabinet of lace and trims. Whoops. Oh. Ones. <laughs> and I have a wedding dress in there. Wait See, look at these frames. These are shadow box frames. Look. That will fit in there beautifully. Let me yeah, zoom out. It, once you put it on the back and you put the glass on top of it, won't the glass touch the picture? Oh, heck no. No. I'll try it, but I don't think so. But I really love this one. Look at this. Because when we have our paper towel framed, she has to get a piece of, oh, it's it's only about an inch, half inch by half inch square doweling. And she has to build that, put that on the picture first so that when she frames it, it actually sticks out from the back of the frame. Right, but <clears throat> I can mix media this frame because the glass is here, but I put the glass on the outside like I did with my mixed media art the same way. <laughs> right, right. Okay. that's a different way of doing it. Yeah, that's how I done it. And I used two-way tape, and then I just mixed media the whole frame. I gessoed it, 
and I yeah. painted it all the pinks and the blues, and it just looks so beautiful. The frame you would have never known it was yeah. one that that um, the glass was inside. Ow. Okay, this is starting to hurt now. Okay. Well, I would definitely keep this mat. Let me yeah. see if I can mat this page beautifully. Yes, because I could tuck this in behind all my 3D. Yeah. Now I might have to make it a wee bit bigger. I don't want to. Well, I don't know. Kind of looks good like that. Yeah, that would it, it kind of takes away some of my 3D though. Anyway, this glass. I already broke one of these. It's bigger. that so i would just put it on the outside with score tape like uh, gotcha, gotcha. okay and then i'll tape all the way around on the inside of this with masking tape and then i will put something over the glass like i done with the other one and 3d it so let's just show you for an example i could do it this way without breaking this glass like i done last time it will go on the back like so look at beautiful. that yeah beautiful yeah and i can make this mat a wee a wee bit bigger just yeah. so it it's you know perfect yeah. so what do you think of that guys and then yeah the glass they are beautiful actually <laughs> and to be oh, honest Sometimes these shadow boxes, you don't even need the glass. You yeah, but the trouble is dust gets on. I there. know, I know, yeah. Or you buy non reflective glass. Right. But yeah, maybe that's, uh, see, it's the mat is way a little bit too small, so I would just cut around it. Yeah. And then, you know, kind of get it in behind a little bit. That's I beautiful. Know. I like that. If you do them both like that and you put them on the wall together. Yep. Maybe I'll just glue it down like this and put lace around here. Yeah. That's what I think I'm going to do. Glue it down and put lace on it. What do you guys think? Love it. Bloody awful. <laughs> I know. It's bloody awful. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I'll scan these for you guys. I don't know how well they'll scan. But this okay. is... This is real twigs. This is real branches that yeah. my husband went and cut for me off a tree outside. Do you know... You can get an app on your phone that's a scanner and then you just scan it with the camera because huh? putting that scanner and shutting the door might be a bit difficult. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, I've got one on my phone. And you scan with your phone? Yeah. Really? Yeah. This is how I broke the glass last time was trying to get it back in. I'll just go in. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, be careful. You're scaring me. Oh no, <laughs> I'm holding my breath, KK. Don't break the glass. Ah, it's so thin and fragile. Um... See, okay. Crystal uses the scanner on her phone. That side can go in. Mm. 
Just get in there and help her put the glass back before she breaks it. There we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this is how I broke did it last time. Well, there we go. Whew. Let my heart be still. Be still my heart. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> be still my heart. Anyway, that's how I'm going to do it. I think that's going to look super cool. And when you decorate the va the frame, uh -huh. don't overdo it because you'll take the beauty away from the picture if you do. I won't overdo it. I never do. Oh, that's why I'm, yeah, of course you don't overdo it, do you? <laughs> I can't yeah, that's her find... Name, guy. Pardon? Hey, Kay. I can't find my jelly plate things that I made, so I guess I have to make all new backgrounds. Can't find them. You can't find any of your jelly plate backgrounds? Nope. Not a one. And I know they're all in one container and now they're gone. Didn't you also it. get the water marble oils too to do the water paper? I may have. I haven't used that jelly plate since that first time I got it. Oh. Uh-huh. Huh. All three. I'm going to scan all of this for you guys. Yep. yep. These two. Yep. And this. Oh, I love them. Absolutely love them. I wish. Actually... I just don't know how it's going to turn out. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Cynthia. Okay. I have to scan. I have to scan Elvis memorabilia, and that would scan my 3D stuff. Yeah, yep. it would, Teresa. But it's a good app, actually. Crystal uses the Fax app. Let me go. Let me see what we've got here. Fax app. Send fax from phone. Which one is it? <laughs> I want to scan fax app. Scan and send fax. But I don't want to fax. Well, just say scan. What? Hold on. Let me see if I can find it on my phone. What the name of this? Uh... Smart scan, PDF scanner. Hey, let's yeah. try that. Search for fast scanner. That is the one. Is that what I just downloaded? Yeah. Smart scan, fast scanner, free PDF. That's a 4.5. This one's a 4.4. Wow. I want the 4.5. Whoops. Yeah. I don't want you. Get lost. All right. Now, where did it end up? I hate this new phone. I just don't know where anything is. Perfect. Okay. KK is. Oh, all right. Smart scanner. Oh, so that one. Only fault, my dear. Oh, I have a fault. <laughs> Uninstall. <clears throat> Ruby, Lorna said 
that which is you know I've I've done this before too, but I'm gonna read her comment because she's like Ruby, read my comment. Oh, uh, what, 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 what? If you scan it, if you scan your image on your regular scanner, but leave the lid open, and put either a white or back uh, black fabric over top of it, you'll be able to scan the whole image without having it closed and not hurting your piece. Okay. Yeah, I wondered how you had to do that because why didn't that other one install? What's the matter with it? Fast scanner, open. Okay. I want to see how it works so, on the phone. So let's try this. I don't, how do you do use this? Take a picture. And then it'll scan it. Is that how it'll work? Uh -huh. Let's not have a wallet clip. Hold still. How, how long? Oh, adjust frame. Okay, let's bring it to there. To there. To, oh, it's gonna. It's not gonna be true. I have handheld scanners. Oh, All right, let's take it up and straight up and down. crooked oh well what black and white what is this oh color what <laughs> color two you got three why do you need three to be set oh no Just contrast. Oh my God! Would you guys see this new document? Free background. Let's see if this worked. Click OK. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm print. I could print from my phone. Yep. Get real. Let's check this out. I have to have easy facts. Send facts from phone. Oh. I don't want to fax it. I want to share it on Facebook. So, should we share PDF or JPEG? Either either. Oh, I'm going to save it as a JPEG and I have to send it to my email. I don't know what hand scanners are, Teresa. I have to send it to myself. Let's all play Yahtzee, this stupid commercial shit. <laughs> okay. That worked. Let's do number two. It's under a nice, pretty light. Back. Back. And let's take a picture. Oh, wow. Woohoo. You guys okay. are going to love these backgrounds. I know. They're just so cute. Check mark. Oh, my God. Woohoo. Yeah, baby. Let's just <laughs> save that. Free. Free bird. Click OK. Send. Oh, wait, let's go back. Let's go to email to myself. Please tap OK oh. to set up your email. Oh, I don't want to go through that. No. No. <laughs> this one. Oh, I hate phones. JPEG, Gmail, 
and we'll just send it to myself again. Click send. Okay. There's number two. And I'm going to go in the living room and then I'm going to put all these on Facebook for anybody who wants them can have them. Because I love you guys. Face, that's something that she didn't have that I had. A scanner on her phone. Right? <laughs> Thanks for telling me about this, Dai Dai. I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> and so does my viewers. They really appreciate it too. Hey. Get out of here. I don't want to install that. Free bird two. Okay. Auto download docs. Whatever. What are you doing? I gotta sit down. My back hurts. Sign into Google Drive. No, I don't want people to go to my Google Drive. Sharing. Gmail. Oh, wait, go back. Oh, no. APA. Gmail. Send it to myself, Rainella. There we go. And we're done. I want to see how they print out. Okay, well, let me go to my email and print them out. Oh, these are pretty, man. I'm glad you guys told me about this. I could have fun scanning everything. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, don't moon me. <laughs> I'll be scanning your butt. I'm putting it up. <laughs> I'll be putting it up for a free download. <laughs> She's gonna be smart. She, she's gonna be sharing Smurf butt. <laughs> no stinky butt. Well, his image is a Smurf. Smurf butt. Yeah, See? something like that. Oh, whoops! Look what I threw in the garbage. My purpley brown lace. <laughs> All right, I gotta get this crap off my printer because I've got a pile of junk here. Because I don't like cleaning up my craft room at all, you know, because then I won't find anything. All right, let's go to my email. Let's print these suckers out and see if they're worth even downloading. All right? All right. Die, die, happy. <laughs> all right, which one you want to see? Birdie Any one? Help? Anyone just to see if they if it's worked. Should I reply to this Raynella? Why what she said? She sent pictures, bitch. Of what? Hang on. It's opening. I don't think your inner self would like that too much. <laughs> right? Can't. Oh my god, is it ever gorgeous? Okay, but I don't want to print it with that, so take a hike. Let's go back. Let's download. Let's download it. Because it's going to cut part of it off, and I don't want it to do that. Uh -oh. so, there we go. Mm -hmm. Print. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Full page unchecked. Um, yeah, it has to print like that. So let's print it. Let's check her out. That is beautiful. I can't believe this huge mess I made. <laughs> Holy crap. I can believe it because I am such a messy person. So what I really thought was pretty cool is I'm going to change that background. Where's my scan thing? Settings. Why are my settings in there? Oh, my God. It didn't print right. Whoa. I got to reprint it. 
Because my printer just likes to jerk off sometimes and be an idiot. Look, it's missing oh. the ink here. That's why I hate this brother scan. But, but it looks cool, Ruby. Yes. It looks that, like it was intentional. No, I don't like that at all. Well, you could put it in my box then. I'm not giving you this. Look at the ink's coming right off of it. Look. It's okay. I'll still yeah. love it. I'll put it in your damn box. <laughs> What Thank you put you. in my box? <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Wow, look at this is so cool. Yeah. Wicked cool, guys. This is wicked cool. This turned out cool. There you go. My very own mixed media background that's beautiful oh. wow well you guys want these i'm going to put them in there but i wanted to look i wanted to show you something um where is that program fast scan and cut all right, I want to move this up here to my home screen. And I want to get rid of uh, this app here. Oh, okay, let's put it there. All right. Now, this has a way to change the coloring on it. Yep. Get back. How do you do it? Here, maybe? Um, copied. I didn't want to copy it. I guess once you, once it's done. Um, safety gallery? No. Nope. Well, we scan it. It's quick enough. Yeah. All right. I'll do that because I can show you what it's going to do. Where'd it go? It changed the coloring. All right. That'll be up straight. Now watch what it'll do. I think I thought that was pretty cool. So, I mean, this is cool too. Look at. Yeah. <laughs> Crystal says your home screen is giving her OCD. <laughs> what? <laughs> Crystal said your home screen is giving her OCD. <laughs> oh, no. That's white color. Where's color number two? Color number two. Wow. That's wicked cool. There you go. See, you can color. do all different colors in it. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm going to save that. That's the one I want to. I'm putting add, add just. Whatever. I can't spell with these fat fingers, man. <laughs> And I'm going to email it to myself as a JPEG to Rainella. And I'm going to oh, get out of here. You probably can buy the program to get me. Yes. Okay. I'll print this out and show you what it did. Okay. Hallelujah. Because it's going to be really hard for you guys to see on my phone. I don't even think you saw it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, my back hurts. <laughs> good morning, Kathy Watts. Well, good afternoon here in the States. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Download. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
print. Wait till you see this. So this is the original one that you guys are going to get too. Yeah. But you need, yeah. you need to see how it printed. Oh my God, I wish my husband was nice and come about this coffee mess. Ah, before I spill it. Here it comes. Wow, I got overspray everywhere. <laughs> I'm curious to see what this did. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey. Look at it. Wow. Look at what this just did. Wow. Who it's needs like, paint shop pro? <laughs> wow, that is so cool. Honest to God, you guys can print this off yourself. You can see my paintbrush strokes, the writing. Looks like my coffee stains. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> That's a beautiful background. That is stunning, and so is this. Yes, so, I can't wait to see it in person. I'm going to put them on Facebook and in the group, hon. Oh, I forgot to do this side. Did you guys want this side? Yeah. Die, die. <laughs> of course, die, die does. Of course she does. Course. Might as well do them all at once. Scan them all in. And let's do fast scan and cut. Upgrade to pro later. <laughs> I'm no pro at this. Oh, I think these are going to be super fun backgrounds. Super fun. Check. Yeah, no. Look at this. What the heck? No. Um, back. Photo. Is that the actual photo? Does photo mean that's the photo? Yes. Uh, back. I'm just writing back. Send JPEG to Ruby Lockwood. Mm -hmm. Send. Of course I'm getting a game to play. Get out of here. Can't stand that candy crush. Wow, I have a OneDrive on my phone. Okay, so this is part of my book, but I have to leave it because it's just not quite dried. All okay. right. Go get yourself some paper. Let's print one piece, and then I'm getting off here. Oh, go back. Free birds. No. Why didn't that send? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Crystal said, Ruby's got a new toy. Ruby's got a new toy. I know I do. Week, she, her new task is scanning her whole house. <laughs> <laughs> Dida, you're almost right. <laughs> <laughs> <That's Crystal. clears throat> I don't think this scanned properly. I don't like the coloring in it because it's supposed to be all pink. I'll show you what it looked like printed. I don't know what I did wrong, but it didn't scan the bottom. It's white there. So it's half pink, half white. So anyway, it looks pretty cool, I think. There it is. I don't know if I like that. Kind of wicked. To make a page in a junk journal. Yeah, but this is on 110 pound cardstock. Yeah, maybe that might be okay as a page in the junk journal. And then on the back side, you can print the other. 
Yep. That'll match it. But why did it do that, though? I didn't do it all properly. Like, these kind of look yellowy. No, it didn't work. That's going to bug Crystal, me. Crystal said, Ruby, now you can multiply your ephemera in a quick click. <laughs> yes, ma'am. All right, so I'm going to redo. Turn that light out. That might have interfered with it. Uh, why? Whoops. Okay, nope, it did it again. Huh. There we go, that's a little better. That's no, a I lot better. Oh, I haven't seen those, I'll look them up. I'm just going to send it as a new document. I didn't see that you'd asked me before. I'm sorry. I'm too busy watching what Ruby's are doing. <laughs> All right. Get out of here. All right. It's sending. So it'll probably print. It'll be coloring like this now. <coughs> <laughs> Yeah, I kind of don't like that first one. Oh, there it is. Got it. It came in the mail. <laughs> yeah, this one's a little better. Seems a little darker, which is perfect. And uh, this one. So we had this first. Ew. What the hell? <laughs> That's just Barfarama. I don't like that. I did something wrong. And I don't know how to fix it now. So there's my background. Wow. Beautiful. So that's how it turned out. Blackened. But I sure love the way this looks. Can you guys see that? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, so when I go in my living room, I'm going to send all of these up in Facebook. I mean, it's super, this went in a little crooked. But it would make a really nice, <clears throat> actually, there's nothing really wrong with this. It's just darkened. That's better. I like it. Yeah. Or well, you can have it go this way. Either way. Yes. Yeah. Looks I great. love this. So, yeah. All right, guys, I'm getting going. Well, look at the difference in color. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this one's nice and bright. This one's nice and dark. 
So if you want to live a little on the dark side, here you go. But yeah, I will I will put all of these up there for you guys. Even this one is wicked cool. It kind of shows all the pink, the turquoise, the yeah. I don't know. It's just wicked how it did this. It's neat. If you want a laser printer for printing, Teresa, you only need black and white. <laughs> All right, guys, I got to get going. I have a locked up bird, and it is now 2.47. Time to get oh. off here. Okay, I will see you guys later. God bless. Okay. Mwah, hope you guys had fun and you learned something. And tomorrow's Bye. Jelly Plate Day. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.